Well, as you all saw, saw this morning, Jitter came into the pit with a turkey, but that wasn't the only thing he got. He ended up getting ramps, some fresh onion garlic ramps. Wild, caught, you might say, harvested. They are gorgeous, as you can tell here. And what I'm going to make right now, I got melting over on the side here some butter. We're going to make ramp butter for this lovely veal eye of round that Jitter is going to be cooking for us later. We like lovely. We're going to cut these up thin. Oh, look at that. I'm going to use everything here. Take the greens and roll them up. Makes it easier to cut. You're just going to chiffon them. Fancy word. Want to cut down the center. You don't want them that long. Now, who says the pit boys don't do veggies? These are wild forage ramps. A little chop on them more. Oh, yeah, it's nothing like early spring, right? Now I'm going to take my melted butter. And we're going to add the fresh rims. Say it's probably too much for the amount of butter I got here. Use your own taste. This is perfect, as far as I'm concerned. I say it's not enough. <laughs> Give it a good mix. Yeah, maybe we will have. Since Jitter says it's not enough. Load it up. <laughs> flavor, baby. We want layers of flavor. So these are more prevalent in the spring. Spring time. Oh, yeah. Spring time. Yeah. Well, early spring. All right, early right, spring. right now yep. until about the end of May, yep. and then the end of May they turn yellow, and you'll never even know that they were there. Yep. Yep. They were right, right. live. They're alive for just about a month and a half, two months almost, and then gone. And if you find them, don't pick them all. They'll grow back every year in the same spot. A lot of people just harvest the green part. I got, a few bowl, I got a few of the bowls I took. You can make a nice pesto with them. Yeah. Uh, enough jitter? Oh yeah. That with the Kansas City, we're gonna be yeah. eating good today. <laughs> right. Perfect. Right. And we'll show you one thing, just so you know what I was talking about. These are the ramps, and these are the bolts. And you just clean those off, peel them like garlic, and you can take those alone and use them for saute with butter in a pan or with oil. Or your put them on the eye around. Or put them on the eye around the way you want to do them, or insert them into your chunk of beef. Look at these guys right here. So we're just going to put them right in there and roast them for the last little bit. It's already at temperature that we want, so we're just gonna put some leaves across the top of this. Boom. Check that out right there. Good. Nothing fancy. I'm just doing it. We're gonna keep nature as nature intends. Natural as natural can be.
mercy. I got a chub. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There you go. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep going. All right. Scrape it all out, dude. Lord have mercy. Get everything in the back. All right. Oh, now's the butter. You really want to get crazy? Oh, God. Remember that ramp butter that the warden made a little while ago? Yep. We're going to get real messy here today, and we're just going to say, let's go. Oh, oh yeah. Is... All right. Now Lord we... have mercy. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.